Okay, hi everyone. So I just tried to do that and now I'm really pissed off because it still won't let me do the quest. If it's not letting anyone else do it, maybe it's just not ready for that or something. But it's really bugging me. Because I like to do quests the day they come out and I don't like day breakers or anything. I don't day breakers, no day waiters. What are they? Does, does anyone have like a new name for that? Because <laughs> like I keep hearing YouTubers say like different things and now I get confused. You know what? We're gonna make a new word for I mean a new name for it and it's gonna be this makes me fucking pissed off. <laughs> there we go. I think today we're gonna talk about things that really make me mad in this game. It's gonna be fun. If I crash doing this. <gasps> Does anyone remember the time you went to like sell something and then you would just crash from your whole entire game? I remember that so much and I was like trying to get like the Misty Steeds Club outfit. And I would boil in anger, literally. Oh god, I almost burped. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I literally like try to Oh god, don't burp. <laughs> I'm chugging Gatorade kinda right now because my throat hurts a lot. So, if you hear me burp at all, um, I'm sorry. It shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I'm, like, dying today, though. Okay, what's up with this? There's, like, oh, no, nothing, nothing's wrong. Oh yeah, that looks good now. I find it funny how I never used leg wraps in my whole entire life. Yeah, I never have. But then I use leg wraps all the damn time here. And if I don't use them, I just find them the horse's um, lower legs towards the hooves disgusting as heck. Okay, let's just start talking about things that bug me. Um, what should we start with? Because there's a lot. <laughs> okay, I think I look like a murderer. That's fine. I think one thing that bugs me is I already went for the western stuff. I'm just gonna talk about the new bridal. This is an unpopular opinion, but I don't like a lot of them. Like, see this white one? I, I don't like it. I like this one a lot more. I don't like this one. Not my thing. This looks ugly. This is ugly. This is ugly. This is ugly. Love this one. This is ugly, this is ugly, this is ugly. This is really ugly. That one's ugly. That one's ugly. That one's ugly. It's okay. This one's okay. This one's ugly. This one's beautiful. Like, beautiful. There's one that I wanted to use for my club. But it wouldn't go on both the horses. So let me find it. Since I'm on a thin horse and I can show you. Oh, I'm bl like blind right now. Oh, it could be unicorns. Whoa. I'm saving up for this, I think. Not there anymore. It's this one. I find it so adorable. I love the green. Like, oh my god. Ah. But like, green's my favorite color, so. 
I think I have some problems. Um... Some other things that bug me is like trees without any like detail or anything like this. Like, what is this? It's ugly. Okay, bye. Cause like, that's the most ugliest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in this game so far. I like these trees. Like, they're really pretty. Um, also, why is this in the middle of like, nowhere like shouldn't it be like covered by something so then like some random child doesn't like go like oh my god it's a portal let's walk into it and then they start dying because they die from um hypochromia yeah <laughs> totally that should be a quest <gasps> yes make it a quest or stable please i would have pablo eat that child yeah. That should be an option, too. <sighs> okay, I either need to sneeze or burp right now. I can't tell what- I think I'm, like, sick. Or, like, starting to get sick. I'm gonna blame this on people in Star Stable. <laughs> Oh my god. So, I started getting sick once when I was around Bunny who had COVID. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Bunny is an old friend of mine. She's not in the club. She's not even in the server. Kind of miss her. It's a bit. I think we should go to Hazy. We'll make a video on that. Going to Hazy and seeing my old friends and leaving them. Yeah. Again. I guess I should maybe say why I left Hazy then. Um, oh my fro. <coughs> there. We're good. But then I sound weird. Um. Okay, anyways. <laughs> there, I sound better now. So, I left Hazy because I wanted to try to get more members into my club. And that server was really full of clubs, and it was really hard to get members. And when we did, they left for the bigger clubs. As soon as, like, me or, like, a leader logged off. I also left that server because I was getting attacked daily from people I will not mention currently, but they did not like me and they were in my old club and I don't think I did anything wrong to them. They just started attacking me and making up lies and stuff that weren't true. Okay, let me just explain. So, you know this shirt right here? This one, it's my main shirt from like five years ago or so. I don't even know. When did it come out? Sometime. Like 2019? Like four years ago. Oh, I don't even know anymore. I can't even keep track. So I said, oh my god, you have the same shirt as- Oh, I can't talk. You have the same shirt as me too, another member in my club. And then I went AFK to get my friend off of Roblox to come to the club event. And then there was drama that was starting. And then they said that I started it somehow. Okay. The only problem I have with that is that I was joking around. Because I saw a lot of people using the same outfit as me. Which at the time, the outfit was just like the simplest thing ever. It was a summer outfit of mine, and it was just this. 
it wasn't like a big deal or anything so uh, she had some of the same like elements and so i said oh i really like your outfit it looks just like mine and your shirt is just like mine totally <laughs> and then we laughed about it but then she started drama or something and then apparently i got shit for it which i didn't do anything I don't understand that, but, yeah. Um. Some other things happened. Oh, and then when I, so Buddy wasn't my friend at the time this happened, but this I was trying to apologize to one of the people in the club for something I basically didn't even do. And then, like, it was in friend chat because I wouldn't say it in, like, club chat or anything. So I said, like, sorry and stuff, and then I just started talking to her, trying to make things better, and yeah. I don't know why. I, I didn't have to say anything. And then she would keep telling Bunny this. And then Bunny got so mad, she started attacking me in front chat. It did hurt me a bit. I am a very sensitive person. Like... The littlest thing could get me crying or anything. So, I did not take it well. I know it's an online game, but still, it can hurt. And that's basically blackmailing and stuff. When you do think about it. I will not mention the things that anyone said in this, because... It really did not sit in me very well and was very personal. And I don't think I should be spreading anything. But just to let you know what really happened. And if you guys do want to say anything, I would just stand down. Like, because I have some really good friends in this club that will get on your bad side if you try to get on my bad side. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but like I'm gonna continue on that, on why I left Hazy. I did have a lot of friends in that server, but I was kind of done with the drama in Global every single day. Though there's drama in this server, it's not as bad as Hazy's. Hazy's was like, drama one second, drama another. It was like crazy. The clubs in that server were somewhat toxic. And one club tried to even come up to me and one up me with their club. They had like 50, 40 members there. And I just had, like, two people in mind, which was, like, me and Allie. Because we were just growing, and I was just starting to add, like, some of the leaders in. Because I wasn't ready to get some members yet. I swear, I keep getting this hat. So, Hazy was just really toxic. Chocolate Cupcake's a bit toxic, but it's still not as bad as some of the other servers that I saw. Though, Hazy was a decent server for me to find friends in. I just didn't think I belonged there any longer, and I needed to leave before bad stuff started happening to me and my friends. So basically... Altogether, why I left the hazy was because of drama, toxicity, and to grow my club. 
in a fresh server that I used to know and that I was comfortable with. Well, I've been talking for like 15 minutes. I think we go up to 30, so just 15 more minutes. We grind shillings or do something else. I think shillings is better. So I'm just gonna come back up. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, help. Okay, I guess we could talk about some other things. I guess we're bracing. Let's just do this, I guess. Training a max horse, love that. Um... Things that really bug me in this game would have to be what I mentioned already, and toxic people. Um, leading on to the fact that we just talked about why I moved my server. We're going to be talking about toxic people now. I know everyone deals with like a toxic person at least once in their life, but there's a ton on so stable. Like, a lot, and it's a sad amount. Like, can we all just be nice for once and, like, get along, at least sometimes? Like, it's not real life. It's a stupid pixel horse game. I also want to make it clear that the drama and global, my club shall not, and if I catch anyone saying anything in global about drama or causing drama or getting into drama, then you will be getting a warning because I cannot stand drama. The drama in this game is like me losing all my brain cells it's the stupidest thing ever yes i know there's like drama everywhere but like it <laughs> just like ruins my mental state when i see like people i know causing drama and stuff i really don't agree with it at all i don't think anyone should be in drama in my club if other people are doing it in other clubs, okay, who cares? The club leader can deal with it. But if it's like any of my members, you're gonna get a warning because I can't handle it. I know I sound like so angry when I say that because I am. I think it happened before and I did not enjoy it at all. I think I kicked the person too. This was a while ago, it was not the same club, it was an old club I owned. I'm not a strict, strict person, but I can be strict. The only times I'm really strict is when it comes to the rules. If you hurt like any of my friends and you break some rules with it, or if you do not follow rules when we are trying to do dressage. Like talking out loud, I forgot to say that, you know what, next time we have dressage, I'm gonna say all the rules for dressage that I have. 
So I'll save them in this video, but a lot of my clubs not know about my YouTube because they can't find it or something, or they just haven't looked, you know. But some of the rules are no talking in the arena when you are being instructed. If you do not know a question, you can talk, but using like the period or like an exclamation point to pass. Period meaning that you don't know something. The only time you can talk really is that, and if you're being talked to, if you know a move or something, you have to have the club horse at all costs, unless you don't own the club horse and have a close horse to it, but still does dressage very nicely. This one applies to a lot of people. No saying you're bad at dressage because everyone is bad at it. When you think about it, nobody is perfect. Nobody can be perfect. It's a game for crying out loud. If you're perfect, then if you say you're perfect, then I guess you're perfect. I'm not going to add on to that. I'm not perfect in dressage either, but I'm a really high level. So... But most of my club seems to be beginner or intermediate. Which is, it's not a problem, but I think I should be starting to do some facade tests on people. Most of it will be beginner, intermediate, and some advanced. No elite stuff, because elite is what I do, and melt some people's brains. I try to teach some people and I think I almost killed them a few times but that's okay you know perfectly fine so I think I'm gonna end this video here because I'm starting to not feel the best um I'll just do one more race and talk about one more thing um, if you do want to join my club, um, I guess you can mail me till the High Wild or till the Cherry Peak. Um, and you must be in Chocolate Cupcake. You must be level 10 plus. Um, you must be able to get the club out with the club horse if you don't already own it. And the pass on the future is necessary. You don't have to own it right away, but it will be a future club horse. So I suggest saving up for it when you can. And yeah, I think that's all. Okay, well, I'm done here. I'm gonna go probably sleep again or like just stay online and not talk anymore. Anyways, bye everyone.